Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey. I'm filming this during my midday slump, so we have some coffee. I woke up this morning and I looked at my hair and I'm like, when did it get so long? Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos as of lately. I am just inspired, you know? Today's video is really exciting and hopefully becomes some sort of series. So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel so that you guys will get notified of when I post new videos. Follow my Instagram because I'm posting there all the time. TikTok, Twitter, you name it, I'm on it. I have a podcast as well. I also kind of want to do an episode on like first time home buyers, what you need to know when you buy your first house and stuff. So. If you guys are interested in that kind of podcast episode, let me know in the comments down below. I've seen these videos on YouTube over the past probably like year or two where you're touring different houses at different price points in Dallas. So my realtor, Melanie Bray, literally the prettiest, cutest, nicest realtor ever and the best who got me this townhouse. She is taking us along. If you guys are in Dallas, Austin and Houston, that's where they're at. Um, Bray Real Estate, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll have them like linked down below too. Oh my gosh, I just need the coffee. So we went and we toured four different houses and we're gonna take you guys through. I was wearing a mask, so I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying, but I'm gonna take you guys through now. So the first house that we looked at was a townhouse. This one is on the market for $417,000. It is a two bed, two and a half bath. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we are at house number one. Hi, I'm Melanie Bray with Bray Real Estate Group. We wanted to see this first unit that's a two two going for 417. This is the living area. I love the kitchen. I love, okay, you know what I still have to do in my house? Um, Melanie's also my realtor and got me in my house, but I still haven't gotten like, first off the fridge, don't even get me started on it. And I don't have hardware in my, I know. So anyways, this is super cute. It's actually really, really big. There's a lot of space. A lot of love. Oh my gosh. This is called the Juliet balcony. So you can open it. You can't really have stuff out there, but it gives you natural air coming in and natural light. Oh my God. I have these frames, they're from Ikea. Is that what I'm <laughs> So when you have guests over, you have a half bath so that they don't have to go through the bedrooms. Take a look. <laughs> okay. These stairs, there's a lot of stairs. So this is not the master. I love the windows. This is my favorite thing here. Brooke, if you're watching this, it looks like your bathroom in New York. So cute. Okay, over Not here. the master, but this is a pretty good sized closet for your guests. Well, if you're cute, you gotta keep up. This would be your, essentially your laundry room. This is the master. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Wow. A nice walk-in closet for all of your stuff. Those new modern barn doors that slide open and shut to the bathroom. Love, love the natural lighting. Oh my gosh. And this also has a very like neighborhood feel. It does. Love the bathroom, love the marble. And it's nice because the new bathrooms have it where you can shut the door to the toilet. Privacy, extra privacy. Nice two car garage here. Ah. Wow, this is so it's cool. Gorgeous. So cute. Love this. You have a pet? Yeah. What I loved about this house was I loved the open floor plan. I loved the kitchen. The windows were really cool. It let a lot of natural light in. Also, the backyard was pretty cool. Anyways, I loved this place. The location is great too. It's the next place we went to was also a townhouse. Guys, this is literally Edward Cullen. Edward Cullen. Cullen. Why? I literally grew up on the Twilight series and suddenly I can't pronounce it. Also, the new book is coming out, I think next month, right? House number two. These are townhouses, obviously. This looks like Twilight. You know? No, I don't, but I trust you. No, it seriously looks like this would be like somewhere that ever called. This literally looks like a Twilight townhouse. I'm telling you. It's so sick. Here we are, guys. Well, okay, so there's already. Bathroom right here, bedroom, closet. This one is super, super small. If I lived here, this would be my gym. I would have my mirror and my mat and then a treadmill and it would be incredible. Okay, over here. Okay. Garage. All these houses are, you know, cool like this. Okay. Okay, this is a 
balcony and see. Oh, they have the above ground pool. I've never seen those in Texas, actually. Ooh, very nice, spacious. That thing gives me a headache. Looking at that, right? Same. This is cool, and this is, would be really convenient for like a morning Devo. You're just like making a quick bite with your friends. Ooh. It's cozy in here. Wow. Or when you're cooking and then you make your friends like talk to you as you cook. That's great. Love this. Wine. An extended island. So slash dining room table and island. That's what that's called. I love so this. So this is your pantry. This is a walk-in pantry. Oh, love that. Right. Love yes. that. Yeah, because I don't even have a chef, so I don't need it. Yeah, is this is a washer dryer. No, so this could be like a studio, a study, anything for your office. Just something small. It doesn't have a closet, but it's just an extra room. Yeah, yes, I love this. Very much so. I let you go in. So this is for the guests that come in. The bath uh -huh. room. It has a pocket door so you can slide it, but it doesn't take up space like a normal door. Love, love, love. Okay. We love functionality. This is such a guy's like bachelor pad. Oh, it's perfect. It's amazing. <laughs> it really is. There's extra storage, I believe. Yeah. You can even plug your like Wi-Fi in or anything just oh, for the main room. so nice. Nice natural light. Nice. Gosh, on me. Why is there a rip in this? I give up with my life. Cool. Oh, we got a closet right here. This is nice. The thing that sucks for me is that I have to carry my basket. Well, I make prison carry my basket like three floors every time. It's really awful. I like this size because I like the little reading nook area. Yes, and the natural light comes in, but you still have privacy with the tinted glass. Mm -hmm. Y'all are gonna die. Look at this closet. Look at this closet. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Dream closet for the master bedroom. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Welcome to Texas. Look at this shower. It's got oh, a tub so inside cool. of it, which is the new thing. Everybody's doing that. Really? Yes. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm a big fan of that. It kind of conserves space. Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. And then a separate bathroom, like they're making for privacy. I like this place. Same. It's very twilight. What's the price point on this? So this one is six forty nine. You didn't really show the balcony. Just wait. Does this have like a? You can yeah. This is sliding glass door. No, I mean like the. One. This is interesting. But it's like a weird. You gotta get this on film. Yeah, this is like. Cool outdoor area. I just walked into a spider web. But cute. Like it's the wall. You're totally missing what we're talking about here. Like. I know. Sorry. What? I just walked You're into just a spider web, guys. This. Yeah, I don't really know. You can like maybe put some stuff up for the mosquitoes. <laughs> That's me and everything. Like get them rid of the mosquitoes. Yeah. Oh, it's another one. another balcony. I don't care to go this out there. This is so but... epic. This is like my dream town home for me. Yeah, it really is. Wow. There another you know. one. This is open though. So this one doesn't have, cool. this one doesn't have the privacy screen. Also, I really do like the yard. That is so convenient. I. Love. Quentin is moving in. Windows are everything. Oh, I'm looking at it. Love. Oh, you can wow. Keep it down here, put some tables. That's cute. We just realized that that's the door. Like this is like the ultimate hosting town. I know. Have, like, but guys, imagine if this was Lakeside. Do you see what I'm saying? For sure. Quentin is literally gonna. This is move amazing. In here. The only thing I have me. to do is I'd have to get like those automatic blinds that come down. Yeah. Anyways, if Edward had a townhouse, I just really firmly believe that this is what it would look like. This place was amazing. It was pretty much all windows. I absolutely loved the yard and I loved how the doors open. It doesn't take up space. Here's the thing. Like we were talking about it and I'm like, I don't know if I would, oh, it's $649,000. Sorry, I think I forgot that part. Um, I don't know if I'd want to spend that kind of money on a townhouse. I feel like I'd want to buy a house. The next place we went to was a house. This one was $504,000 and the price just decreased. So we are at this house, it's 500,000. I feel like people are gonna watch this video and think it's like Texas mansions. We're in Dallas, okay? We're in the actual Dallas proper city. So like if we're in the suburbs, obviously it would be like a really big mansion that you see on Twitter or whatever. But here's the house, it's a really great location. Um, kind of back behind Henderson, you know the area. Love. You have a fireplace. I really want a fireplace in bed, but it's white. Um, this reminds me of like a downtown McKinney house, but love the fireplace. So these are original hardwood floors, which make it really nice. These go throughout, except for the kitchen. This 
This one's listed at 504. So it's a single story M Street location. Cute. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love these. Windows, French doors. Oh, wow. I had, actually, in my house in LA, I have these. Oh my goodness. For like a film, like a room. Yes. Yeah, you can have, it would be like a couch lounge area or even an office. So cute. How like, many bedrooms is this? Three and two bathrooms. This would be like dining room, right? Yes. So it is a little older, but it has good charm. I know, so I like the new things to update. And you guys can top. Like honestly, just redoing these countertops and then the stove would be like, yes, so cool. exactly. Do you know how much time I spend a day looking for a new fridge on basic market? It's my first day in the morning. I know for everything. For everything. Everything. I'm like, oh, there's a yard. See, oh, yeah, this is so cute. I love this. Wow. So it's definitely an interesting layout. It has. It's looking for a certain buyer, but the yard is so big. It's perfect for pet lovers, anyone who has dogs. Or oh, yeah, this is great. With this a little so deck. Cute. You can do a lot with the backyard. You could even convert if you wanted to, which is what we do. We like to convert this to like a mother-in-law suite so it's detached from the house. The fire pit. I like this. That's really cool. This almost reminds me of like a Nashville type house. Like East Nashville? Yeah, literally East Nashville. So this is interesting. This is a bathroom for your guests. So it's kind of in its own oh. way. Oh yeah. <laughs> you put your small TV here. <laughs> this is the master. Obviously has an attached master bath and walk-in closet. I just like need a lot more natural lighting. Yes. Than this. Oh well, here you go. In here. Like honestly, this place could be really like with just a few things could actually be like really, really cute. Okay, these skylights though, you should use a little bit of these. These are everything. Everyone's putting them in now, so it brings in natural light for the smaller homes that don't have big windows. This house needs to be from like an East Nashville buyer to, to, flip, it. to flip it and like do all the colors and all, the, you know? Closet, this is actually a pretty big closet for the house. Oh, what was in here? Just a, oh, another. Closet in here. TV space. This reminds me of also like Florida Burbank. Like, oh yeah, for sure. Except in Burbank, this would be a million dollars. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Another closet. So honestly, if it were me and I would buy, the first thing I would do is knock this wall right here. And that way you can have an open concept, like kitchen to living room, you can an island just so that it doesn't separate the two. It would make it feel really big. Yes. Too. I love the door, I love this room. This is very East Nashville. Okay. I would do what Melanie said and I would probably like tear down tear down like the kitchen wall so that it's more of an open floor plan. But this house, it keeps like, it's very East Nashville. I feel like if Sarah Bell moved in, she would just like really kill it, you know? But it's super cute. Um, obviously it's smaller. It's just three bed, two baths total. So the final house is also a very Twilight styled house. This is Edward as a house, okay? So this is $1,075,000. This house is a little bit more north than the places we were looking at before. It's a four bed, four bath total, 3,908 square feet. This house is Quentin in a house. I always say, like, honestly, his style is just like Twilight. Yeah. Like Twilight meets like Christian Bale, Batman. Whatever, what car deal do they have in Twilight too? And I love these massive doors. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, love. This is stunning. Love. Yeah, Over here, we have an office with beautiful, beautiful windows. Oh, this is cute. Okay, wait, it does have a separate bathroom, which is really nice, so you don't have to get up and move. You can stay Love. in this area. Stay. This is a great um, closet for the office. So just side note, technically, when a room has a closet, it's considered a room. Mm. So you can make this whatever you want it to. Obviously, they wanted to make it a office because of the natural lighting, and it faces the front, but you could technically make it a bedroom. 
See, I told Quentin that trick because my mom always used that. Yep. And oh, cool. Great. It opens up in here yes. too. I know. So, like, it can obviously be for guests and then in the office. Great windows. Come over here. Wow. I can never have enough bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, this is a Harry Potter closet. What I like to call it. Cute. We love extra storage. Oh, onto the open living area with the vaulted ceilings. This house is a four bedroom, four full bath house uh, going for a little over a million dollars. So this is what you get in Dallas for a little over a million. Sliding doors. Okay. This is like all I want in the house. I mean, not be able to ever, but yeah. This is great. I would just put a pool out here. Uh, exactly, you know this has enough room for a pool. Oh, and these oh, open over here cool. too. So that's probably the master. This is perfect for dining space because it's got just enough room to have one of those big, huge singles. And the big window. So the master. When the master's on the main, that always adds the value to a house. So you can go check out the master bedroom. Okay. Oh my gosh, the closet. That's like. This is a. Wow. You could, you could put a bed in here. <laughs> Literally. You have it all the way zoomed out, right? On the camera? Yeah. Wow, it is so big. This is crazy. This is just a closet. This is awesome. That would be so nice in the morning with dogs. Oh, yeah, very comfortable. Hey, okay, hi. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was I journeying know. through the giant closet. This is my videographer. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Look at this bathroom. Oh my gosh. The bathroom and the shower, kind of. Oh, this is my vibe right here. This is it. <laughs> Oh, and look, oh. another closet in case you guys want to have your stuff separate. What is this window called? Like, this style of window? Do you know? I don't know. They just usually say that what, a, a window cut out. They don't really say it's like a specific type. That's my favorite. Oh, there's two closets. This is your dream, Kinsey. I know. She's like, this is your closet. You don't. That's my <laughs> dream. Like, no. Again, privacy bathroom. But I love how it kind of spills into the master bedroom. So there's no actual door. Really yeah, cool. that's really cool. I'm a fan. Love, love, and the these open as well. Cool extra space. Let's see. Love this organization. More closet space. The open space. More closet oh. space. Oh, love. So this is called like a mud room, so you can keep your shoes and stuff if you don't want to enter the house and make it dirty on a rainy day. Rod. Love the wine fridge. <laughs> Love. So you know why they put carpets in the stairs or the stairs, right? The bedrooms? So, so you, you don't hear it. Yeah, that's usually why people do that. That's a pretty good size closet too. Is, what is this? Just the... Yeah, I mean, you could, act, you know, people would access that anyway. You could put a little faux grass thing up there. Oh, cute. The windows are cute loves. A bathroom over here. And these are full bathrooms, which is nice. So you got the bathtub and your sink. And you love, I love the view out here too. To the flower Yeah, that's really cute. Cool. Media room. Super dark in there. But you can see that if you put a big screen oh, or a projector. Pretty. pretty cool. Do you want to come and try to see? <laughs> it's actually really big. Um, clearly it does a dog. In the other bedroom. So all of these have really decent sized closets for being guest rooms, which is nice. Look. You know, this is a really good closet here. Over here. Love. Oh. And then another bathroom. Nothing. The the windows are everything. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I don't know the real estate game, but I feel like for a million, this isn't bad. Oh, it's a great deal. Yeah, true. But for entertaining purposes, this is a really good one. Let's see if these have cabinet space underneath. Oh, that's cool. So you have extra storage under the island. Most, most of them are coming like this now. This is what I want for my townhouse right now, and I spend every day on basic market looking. I even know what organization I'm gonna get. 
I'm ready for that. I, know. I would definitely put a pool out there. That's really cool. I thought the bathroom was great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what you can get in Dallas for a bunch of different price ranges. Again, Bray Real Estate, link down below. Anyways, if you guys want me to become a house hunter and this to become a new series, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm definitely down to do more videos like this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.